Hey, here is the update. I'm doing a trying a smaller coil with more turns. I've got one, two, three. Oh. One, two. One, two, three, four. Almost five turns, four and a half turns. Smaller diameter. Uh, same 19.5 volts. And we adjust the bias. And uh, watch what happens. So I adjust it till I get oscillation. And now we've got a lower resonant frequency, which makes sense. It's a little unstable. There we go. 23.7 VPP. Maybe if I turn this on. There we go. And then I turn on this guy. And then we ionize him. Watch carefully. Oh, wait, it worked. Oh my gosh, I haven't gotten this before. <laughs> I was going to show you guys that it doesn't work. Ah, so that's what happens when the coil's too small. You get a little ghost, a little tiny onion ring, a xenon onion ring flying around. <laughs> I wonder what happens if... Oh, and we're at 11.7 volts and oscillating VPP. And 9 megahertz, about. So let's see what happens when... Actually, I'm going to turn the light on. Uh, now I'm going to adjust the bias voltage. I assume it's going to collapse. Watch. Actually, I'm going to go near it like this. Oh, interesting. Oh, and there she goes. Maybe I can get it back. If you press hard. Wow, cool. I haven't had that before. Nice. Okay, I think I'm learning more about the formation of the torus. Here, let's start this guy back up again. So here you can see it's quite bright around the inductor. That's where the highest voltage is, other than the slayer. And when you kind of ground this side, you can see the, the plasma filaments f form around the inductor. And then, look at that, watch. Wow, look at that. What I'm thinking is, when you get the right combo of stuff, <laughs> that sounds so scientific, but wait. When you ground it, I'm calling this grounding it, uh, sometimes you get the right combination of uh, filaments to combine at the bottom. And I think what happens is, if you can put enough energy from the inductor into that uh, torus or that plasma filament circle, then it can, watch this, it can snap, I'm going to call it snapping off of the plasma filaments coming from either end. And, uh, hmm, interesting. I think the Ooh. watch that. There you go. And then I think if you do this right, oh, there we go. Oh wow! Check that out. That kind of confirms my hypothesis. Check this out. Oh. Wow, let's see what we got here. Oh, it's just not always oscillating here. All right, this is with the small coil, 8.7 megahertz, 22 volts peak to peak. And that usually gives a mini toroid, and then it turns into a plasma ball, so watch this. Oh, sometimes it does. Turn this guy off. Let me turn him back up.
We got a 22.5 volts, peak to peak on the RF oscillator. Turn on the tickler. Dang, sometimes it. Oh, there you go. See. Oh, and then my power supply craps out because I think it pulls too much current. All right. Yeah, very cool.